I've not set foot outside the capital in quite some time. It was news to me that passenger ox carts don't travel the night. What of you? Have you any plans to venture outside the city gates today? I've not set foot outside the capital in quite some time. It was news to me. What of you? Have you any plan? Cannot break it from this side. True enough. In another world, I learned that a forgotten riftstone lies nearby. Shall I escort you there, Master? I brought Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart travelling a night is suspicious enough in its own right, if to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? What is it? I've done naught worth following me over. <laughs> Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. I, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. It is a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. You have my sincerest thanks. I see the true arisen is merciful indeed. I I'll be going then. Do we know of someone who might better understand this document? Captain Brandt and Regent Kin Sven are likely to be obeyed, but Minister Allard is best avoided. That was certainly worthwhile. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, so you've encountered the Phantom Oxcart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the law does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawns' destination, perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid your majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap your majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to your majesty's discretion.
such a magnificent tapestry of stars. I quite agree. My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten riftstone... What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get, then. What's this? Suppose it's all the same. What's that? to buy more drink. Could do with a proper meal. What was that? protection. What's the hold up? Get How fair my fine passengers this evening. Don't know why I'm asking, you never answer. Suppose you'll just have to listen then. You pawns are a queer They say you'll do whatever the arisen says. You offer no complaint or quarrel, and you're undying to boot. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea what they do or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return, though. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Batal. <laughs> Did that scare you, baby, for mine? It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it, anyhow. Not like I care. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed words. We shall await you here, Master. Halt! We're expecting your cargo. Open up! I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. Sorry, but my hands... How'd you like that? Oh, built rather tough, eh? You going to fight back? They may be undying, but they do seem to ha, know. They, they just. Oh. Oh. 
crap. Put your <laughs> back into it. <laughs> a ball. <laughs> it's like hitting a <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Enough. That's valuable merchandise you're toying with. Worth more than your wages combined. Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No. Well, get a move on. We're off. On your knees, worthless vessels. Shall we take a closer look? Wait. You're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst. To arms! My fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now, you have divined the Oxcart's destination then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The staff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal, yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such perilous tasks, it is contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their confidence. You have my gratitude. Your Majesty, the evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. Tis most valuable, so pray exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. At least hear the... I cannot deny that your gaze holds a certain... allure. Perhaps to promising. Short ahead, oh, I get an ear for Whatever hardships we face, we have little choice but to live on. Such is life. You know, many of our patrons wish to take me for themselves. Yet, there is something different about you. Hmm, how curious. I lived a simpler life, 
once, but one man changed all that. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on her lonesome. Yet after all this time, here I am. Here I am. Tis no simple matter. Here I Apologies. Lady Wilhelmina is attending to a patron at present. Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life. Oh, no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end he deserves. Or oh, so I'd sworn. But I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it. And recall that I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, it will not be so easily uncovered. I suppose there is truly naught I can do. Save deliver him a gruesome demise for all to behold, that is. Still, if you insist upon searching for evidence of his crimes... Three days. I will give you three days to find what you seek. I shall wait patiently, though not with bated breath. Minister Allard is a noble, yes? Do we know of anyone privy to the goings-on in the palace? What are we to do? We shall remain here.
As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you have the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? No progress as yet, then. Well, you wish to- Ah, but of course. Patrick may know aught that could aid you. Go to his manor come nightfall. If you say you are in my employ, you should be allowed entry with no issue. You are not permitted to... Allard, long have I borne witness to the man's arrogance, and long has it infuriated me. I visited his manor once. I recall that he was rather particular about the placement of his paintings. Mayhap he's concealed aught behind one. Tis just the sort of thing one would expect from a man who places so much stock in appearances. Shall I summon him here? You could make use of his absence to steal into his manor and inspect his art collection. Excellent. I will send word to him presently of some urgent matter that requires his intervention. Once you've seen him depart his manor, make your way inside and stay alert. We may not get a second chance at this. Perhaps this will serve as evidence. Thank you. 
There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. You have my fullest confidence. To think that the proprietress of the Myrmacolian was plotting such a thing. Under normal circumstances, I would not overlook such a clear admission of murderous intent. But this is Allard we speak of. Of all the Queen Regent's sycophants, he possesses the greatest authority. His fall from grace would do much to further our cause. But where to find the evidence we seek? Perhaps the merchants he deals with possess aught that could serve us. Merchants with connections to Allard will reside in the Merchant Quarter. Though, they're not likely to divulge their secrets readily. Some piece of physical evidence would be far less easily refuted than mere testimony, I should think. Hmm. This is a memorandum of Allard's. According to this, before attaining his current status, he was in the employ of a merchant. And in order to claim the merchant's property as his own, he murdered the man and his wife, staging it as an accident. It is a grave affair indeed. Should this article prove genuine, I have every faith it would be sufficient to condemn him for all time. The deed was monstrous, and yet, considering my position, I am afraid I cannot condone the man's assassination. I know not the path I should follow. What is your intent going forward, Your Majesty? Very well. I will place my faith in you, Your Majesty. However, know that should he be assassinated, I cannot offer you my aid. Now, pray bear the evidence you've discovered to the Myrmacolian. I will do everything in my power to assist you. So the captain is willing to aid you only if you do not stain your hands in blood. I hope you shan't disappoint him. Right you are. shall await you here, Master. So, you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to settle things myself. Well, did you find what you were looking for? Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you. This partnership of ours has come to a close. Unless you intend to see this through till the end. You're a curious one, aren't you? But what's just as curious is that I can't bring myself to refuse you. All right, if you're offering your aid, then I'll gladly accept it. Come with me.
Allard is in the room to the left. Go in and restrain him for me, would you? Never mind the mask. Consider it a charm of sorts. At last. It feels like an age has passed since... What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? You hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice. Wilhelmina. But why? Why would you? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastron. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. This is for my mother. And this is for my father. has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. Mr. Allard, has something happened? Aha! We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. I was afraid I might find you here. I cannot believe you were stooped to such. No. This is not the time. You will be able to slip out the rear entrance. Follow me, and quickly. That was certainly well handled. I suppose I ought not to have expected any less. Pray, visit me at the Myrmacolian tomorrow evening. I'll prepare aught by way of thanks. Till then, be well. It is good to be reunited. This ladder looks... I cannot believe it. You killed Allard. You realize this could jeopardize our plans for your ascension. I will do what I can to obscure your involvement in this matter. However, bear in mind that you may have to shoulder the burden of your own heedlessness in future. Thank you. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. 
I truly cannot thank you enough. But I want to try. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. I've got my freedom, but my skill set ain't exactly tailored to living honestly. Shit, there's work for me out there. You... you think I could work there? But true. What? You went out and looked for a job for me, but why? Why would you put yourself to all that trouble? I... give it a try, I suppose. Not sure how it'll turn out, but it's a start at least. I'll do my best not to make a mess of it. Oh, and thank you, cuz. So Hugo has washed his hands of banditry and has a chance to begin anew as a hired guard. May he find every success. It was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited.
what was the missive that just arrived? Oh, you know. The usual. From Vermin, bound straight for the archives. Not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Did we get any other deliveries today, perchance? Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters. Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondences. You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you that if word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. My sword arm could use some work. More time than I know how to spend. Oh, that's a sticker. Yeah. Swords are free. But not at the expense of our duty. Where it possible. What should I get up to today? It's well retired. A new performance requires Any more raiment. I think they sustain. Come on, come here. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? Twould seem my mother has joined hands with a Batali researcher to achieve her purpose. Which, according to this missive, is to arrange things so that I might rule the kingdom. But I don't understand. Vermont needs no consul. It's found its ruler, its sovereign, pretender though he may be. To say naught of you, does she mean to remove you and the false sovereign both from the picture? Is that what is meant by this tragedy? Tis a frightful thought. Yet we are in a much stronger position for having learned of it. You've my gratitude for this. I now know what tis I must do. If there is aught I can do to be of aid to your journey, do not hesitate to ask. <laughs> 